Good morning, everybody. Back at it again. Greg Carlson, Mr. Potato, AKA Tate in the house. Got my coffee, cold brew. Such a good boy. About to kick off Sunday morning with some COD. What's COD stand for, my G? Call of Duty. It's been probably a couple months since I hopped out the sticks. Oh, so we're gonna fire it up over here. What happened to that light? Somebody knocked down that light. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see here. War zone. First, this bad boy's updated. That. Oh, I don't know if y'all ever seen this. this. is a picture of my mom. Her name's Jean. J E A N. She's in heaven. She's really funny. She was five feet tall. I'm six feet. <laughs> She's cool, yeah. Yeah. Her birthday was yesterday. 26th. Oh! Oh! I thought Halloween was over. Was it, was it trick or treat? Oh, another little Tootsie Roll. What? Just for you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> another Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Dude, you're such a bad boy. Bad boy. Bad. It's so funny, dude. I'm over here recording a video. And I'm like, this is my mom. I'm showing a picture of my mom telling her the story that I look down to my right and all of a sudden, do. <laughs> okay, you're out of control, bro. It's all whenever we're gone. And somehow the gates are. It just, well, that just so happens though that we leave every day. So is he turning every day? No. No. Not every day. It's just whenever. He oh. has access up here and the door's closed. Oh, shit. Oh, the gate. Right. Oh, all right. Note to self. Make sure the gate is closed when you're when we leave the house. Because Tate likes dookie in on carpet. You know something? You know what I find interesting? What's he dookies on the carpet and he TTs on the couch. I said it's got to be soft, man. It's got to be soft? Oh, yeah. You do that good bit, dude. Some good content right there. <clears throat> It's crispy. <laughs> it's Sunday morning. This is one of my last weeks of factor meals because let's play now. Let's go. You're launching a war zone 2.0. Sounds intense. What is this? Please install war zone caldera. What does this mean? Which one am I supposed to click? Yeah, it wants me to buy something, bro. Wants me to buy this? No, you don't need to buy anything. And then look, this is the only other option. It says Warzone under maintenance. Maybe I should just buy the new Call of Duty. All right, it's Sunday. Over here in church at the Well Austin. Side college, or early college high school. We got the new setup up in here. Check this out. So much better. We want to open. And... This place, we got coffee, folks. We got Jesus coffee, the best kind there is. Cheers. Nothing brings the family together quite like passages on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have my expectations for today's sermon. Uh, in all seriousness, though, uh, I want to welcome you all this morning, but I also want to welcome people that call the wall home. As Joel said, this is our second time meeting here in Eastside after about two and a half years of being somewhat nomads as a church family. Ever since COVID, we've either been virtual um, or we've been meeting in another church's space in the afternoon. So we're finally back to the morning. We're in our own space uh, on the east side of Austin, which is where we originally planted. And so it's definitely a new chapter for the well, one that we're all excited about. And so with that, if you do call the well home, I want to be the second to say welcome home. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So we are picking back up in our uniquely series, gospel, uh, gospel uh, uniquely Jesus gospel series, sermon series. And what we're doing is we're looking at the three synoptic gospels and we're looking at stories that are found uniquely in one of the three. 
Now, the story that we read today is actually pretty unique. It's, it's found in Matthew and Luke. All right, watch your throw. He's now. He's watching another soccer game, as the rest of the world would call it, football. Here's Catherine and Blake, our great friends. Today we went with both tacos. With the beer cheese? Yeah. It's all. And then guess who's coming, dude? Exactly. He eating his cousin. Take a talk. This place is awesome. Surround sound, big screen. All change. Looks like they're uh, pro military over here. I'm seeing this place, anyways. I had to find a place that was open today. It was tough. Oh. I did not want to get an oil change during the work day tomorrow, though. No, thank you. And then I'm gonna get a car wash, go look at some properties for a client. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get after it today. Speaking of clients, again, I have to remind myself that. Uh, this podcast is to remain unfiltered and raw. I've had these clients for quite some time now. I feel like one party has, it's, it's a duo. One party has anger issues. And that party has expressed anger towards me more than once. And a hypocrisy as well. And anytime I see an email from the other party, uh, I get a cringe because it's so redundant and micromanaging. Like, I'm the professional. You don't need to tell me what to do. It's like, clouds my creativity juices and makes me not excited to get to work with them. So after this last transaction I do with them, I'm probably gonna have to let them go because it's not how I like to live my life. They don't listen despite anything I tell them. I'll keep you all posted on that. I will keep you posted. Still waiting for this oil change to get done. Can't wait. Get out of here. It smells oily. You wanna look pretty though in my video. Oh dirty on the hat and I let you all know. Just dance if you put up in the holy ghost train. If you stop, I'm a fucking killer ass in your face. I'm the ODP as you can see. FBI don't you be watching me. I don't want no problems and I want you down. Fast forward. Pretty awesome workout. Got 400 reps in on my core. Waited. Uh, I did a ton of calves. Smoke my calves today and triceps. Kind of a unique mix. That's what the body was calling for, though. So that's what I did. Um, got an oil change earlier. You already knew that. Car's looking great. I can't see it because it's blurry because I'm on cinematic mode. What are you going to do? Anyways, we got a listing coming up here in Southeast Austin soon. And I'm comping it out right now. What, I'm, what that means is I'm looking at other comparable properties in the same neighborhood, similar square footage, to see how the one that we're gonna list compares to them to give us a reasonable list price. Uh, it's a full remodel and cool. It's one of the comparables. It's a great looking house. Yeah, looks nice. Let's see here. All right, here's the house. Looks great. What I'm gonna do is film this and send it to the sellers of the property we're gonna list so they can get a really good feel of what the competition looks like.
got groceries coming to the house because going to the grocery store takes forever. Well, it's just it's unnecessary time. There's better alternatives than going to the grocery store. So I got Instacart <laughs> rocking and rolling. Yeah, this is a nice looking house. Competition stiff. Uh, at any rate, where were we? Now I'm gonna go see Nick, say what's up with the boys, because Eli is moving into Nick's house. Let's go. Mm -hmm.